you guys had the opportunity to, to like do all the stuff as opposed to just be a voice in a film like that. So did that kind of, was it fun to kind of work together and be childish or, you know, what, how does, I know, what, what must have been yeah. really interesting or, or what was the experience like for you guys? It was fun and wild and exciting and, and really hard work. I was exhausted at the end of those days. Man, that made me feel old it's and wanting to be young. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, really physical and really fun. I, I heard from Catherine that there was actually a real pile up, you know, yeah. as a, yeah. really? Yeah. As that, can you talk about that day, or like, is it all all the time, or is I mean, it? Th everything was like that. I mean, we, so were the like the rock fights. We were doing like bread fights with that. <laughs> we were hurt. throwing bread at each other, balling up, trying to catch each other. You know, <laughs> it was it got pretty pretty intense. It got ugly. She, there's a picture of her. I saw I saw the picture of the, the book where she's slamming me in the back with this styrofoam. Hi, Rebecca, dear. <laughs> so like, I was like, what did I do then? <laughs> you know? And then you uh, get in here. Oh, thank you. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> to, to, to kind of go through that daily regimen of just energy, then do you go home and cry? Like, what was? Is it like? Do 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 you just break down? And you're like, oh, like at the end of the day, or? I mean, I came to the process a little bit later than these guys, so I wasn't I wasn't sleeping in the piles. Um, but I, but I had some epic days with Spike uh, in recording studios, and you know, and, and he kept the same the same thing with the the headbands with microphones on, so we could run around and and be really physical, and you know, we're like rolling around on the ground and being punching, kicking, fighting, and um, it was, uh, yeah, it was really long days, <laughs> but it was, <laughs> well, it was fun, it was ti tiring. To be the captain yeah. of this ship, then I mean, Spike probably had to exert even more energy than all of you together so how how is i mean how did yeah can you talk oh, about what it's like to know. see spike do do imagine when i think of how wiped out i was in my three or four weeks of doing that and every time going in for adr and how physically wiped out i was and mentally wiped out i cannot imagine he did it with every one of us i mean he did it with the group and then he did it and then, yeah, and then when the i look at that book the, the post making of oh god the making of in uh, in australia to think what they were doing there i was like I just to get more energized with it to me. It does. Because I mean, like it when does. we would take a break at lunch, he'd be like out there playing around with the, the jackass guys. Yeah. Like <laughs> running around like doing stunts, trying to stand on top of balls. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> jackass the movie. Right. Not, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, got it. I've had to clear that up a few times Well, it's just pretty <laughs> They did try to kill themselves between takes. Did, at any point, did you interact with Max during during the shoot? I mean, like, this is, and, and you know, really? So Spike so, knows no. our Max. Yeah, really? Quite, yeah, and Catherine. She was the gentle Max. Interesting. <laughs> yeah. So it must be really interesting to watch a film then to see how this all plays out and this kid who, who gives a performance that's oh kind of Lord. amazing. I mean, yeah. uh, he's how do you, how amazing. Do you, did you hear about how maybe he cast this, uh, like, Max and and how do, how do you find somebody and take that kind of performance out of a child, which is they, really they, sensitive, you know? I mean, you should talk to Matt, uh, to Spike, but they they looked at a lot of kids and they had a lot of it, and they had scouts. I mean, yeah. not scouts that you don't know, but the internal close team went traveled all over, and I it's um, was it Lance Accord or somebody knew of a boy who had been in maybe a music video of his dad's friend's band or something like that. That's you have to get the real story from somebody, but it's he's a boy who didn't come with acting experience and. He was ready to be wild, and he's such a cool kid. It's so self-possessed, and it has such a great, healthy sense of himself. What I was also really surprised, because you know, when you see that that they're going to make a film of this, and you're like, well, well, it's based on a book that's only X amount of pages, mm -hmm. you know. So how do you extrapolate a real movie? And yet, it's it's kind of an interesting take on it. It is a take on a nine-year-old's perspective of, of that his yeah. that life and it's kind of dark so I'm just wondering uh -huh. how do you as, as actors when you get the script like what did you take from it and, and did you get that when you were reading the book as a child or I mean <laughs> <laughs> I, no, I think what's really cool yeah. about this movie is that it's uh, it's one take on what happens during the wild rumpus uh, from Maurice Sendak's book and uh, yeah it's very much his vision and I think that's that's what's so cool about it because it's his vision on every level the the way it sounds, the way it looks, and the people he has involved, so yeah.